Hello again. I thought for the day. I can't help but be drawn back to this house. This house has been here all of the time that I've lived here in the Philippines. And it's a, my idea of a Huckleberry Finn house. It's a great house. I love it. But to think that a whole family have been brought up here in this home is amazing. It's great in great example of the Philippine spirit. Whatever they've come up with, it's been adapted, it's been changed, modified. They're putting bamboo on the outside of the house and some more new iron, second hand, but it just intrigues me. It intrigues me how resourceful people are here in the Philippines and therefore I can't help but think how I can't think of a word right this moment but I will eventually come to it I've just trodden in a cow butt in mine I can wash that off on the way home or maybe I can scrape it off here yep it's gone now it was fairly dry but those that knock the Philippines those that say oh you you need this or you need that to cope with living here in the Philippines they are talking from a point of a point that's obviously their own and from their own situation but if you look at Philippine life this is normal Philippine life out in a province. Families survive, families grow, and families. I'll sit on this. I'll sit on this log while I talk to you. And families just gather around and through their their own uh, strength and endurance, they make a life for themselves. And it's just lovely to be able to just wander down the road and just enjoy life as it is here in the Philippines. It's all about what's important to you. If it's important to you that you keep your wealth, that you keep your, um, your finances, your cars, your houses, and hello, how are you? I'm fine. I'm glad you're okay today. <laughs> and um, it's just that this is so typical of the Philippines. People say hello to you. They don't necessarily know you, but they enjoy being noticed and and communicating between each other. There's always a smile, there's always a, a wave, and that's the way the Philippines has always been. And this is why when you sit in your bedsit in London or the north of England in the cold and the freezing and worry about paying the power to keep yourself warm or to be able to feed yourself, it's encouraging to know that even on a state pension and a little bit of money in the bank you can achieve not necessarily this house but you can rent a house a modest home and maybe if you find a Filipino who has a, a family home where you can stay and maybe modernize it or maybe just help them upgrade it a bit there's not a lot of expense you can do that out of your pension and still have a, a good lifestyle. It beats any evening in a community room with uh, lots of old men and women sitting in reclining chairs being brought an evening cup of tea before they go to bed or a cup of cocoa. Is that what you really look forward to? It's not what I ever thought I would ever want. And I know my mother God rest her soul, 
would never have wanted that for herself either. And unfortunately, she ended up doing just that. And But it was in a very luxurious retirement home. Again, being looked after by, I can't remember, I think they came from Nigeria or Sudan, somewhere like that, very kind ladies. But horrifying to my mother to think that that's what life would have been for her. Fortunately, she, putting it politely, she lost her marbles before then, so she wasn't really aware of what was going on. But whilst I had my marbles, I'd much rather spend my time roaming around, as Jane would call it, my barangay, my little village, to experience the crops, the different seasons of crops. Every month there's a different lot in the field. And this, the roads are narrow in some cases, broad in others, but they're still peaceful. Kids still roam around and laugh and giggle and wave and try and talk to you in their broken English that they're learning at school. But this is how life is here. If this is not what you want, and you want the bright lights of New York, or London or Paris, of course you can have that there. But you need a lot of money. But in retirement, Asia is being seen as the alternative to living in your own country, but at least not scratching a living. You can have a good living and a good, a good retirement. And with the perfect lady or a beautiful lady, no one's perfect, including ourselves, you can have a loving, caring relationship here. It's always better sometimes, or in most cases, to meet them face to face, not just online. So, give it some thought, see? I don't know him, but he's honking his horn because he can see I'm filming. But he waves, that's how they are. I hope you all have a, a great day. And this is me signing off here in my barangay. Just a little snippet for you to watch after my thought of the day. Bye now.